Hi, and welcome to jhudgens.com Tech Tips channel, where I upload all kinds of very helpful networking, telecom, and voice tutorials to help you in your business or your hobby. And if you like what you see here today and you find these tutorials helpful, please subscribe and click that bell because I'm constantly uploading very helpful content for the general public to use. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to program and register a Cisco SPA-112 SIP gateway to a core dial hosted SIP trunk. Before we get started, I want to tell you about a company that specializes in almost everything telecom. This company is US Tech. For years, US Tech has been an industry leader in telephone systems, SIP protocol gateways, voice over IP, and UC client. U.S. Tech has a reputation of giving over-the-top tech support, and right now U.S. Tech is giving away free Yaling VoIP phones for every seat that you sign up for. They can even pre-program a system and have it shipped right away while they stay on standby for any reasonable assistance necessary. Is your phone bill too high? Let them drastically reduce your monthly bill using SIP protocol. Just click on the link in the description below to get a free quote and even a callback if needed. That's U.S. Tech your one-stop shop for everything telecom. They do it all for you. Now this is a three-step process. So the first thing you want to do is get the IP address of your Cisco ATA gateway. And to do that, you're going to plug your butt set or an analog phone into the FX1 port of your Cisco SPA-112. And you want to have the LAN port plugged into an ISP you want to get be you want to you want to provide internet to the SPA 112. So once you've done that, go off hook on your butt set and press star 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 star. Then press 110 pound. Now you should hear the IP address of the Cisco gateway. Once again, go off hook, press four stars, star 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 then 110 pound and then you'll hear the IP address. Okay, the second step you want to do is you want to create your SIP trunk. So let's log into our Cordial portal. I'm going to go to customers and as usual I'm going to use US Tech. You know if you want to call US Tech they'll do all this stuff for you as well. There's a link in the description below after you watch this video. If you're having a, if you're having a hard time doing it yourself, just give us a call, uh, chat with us. But anyway, you want to go into Services tab. Then you want to scroll down to SIP Trunk. Now we're going to create a new SIP Trunk. And for the description, I'm just going to put 401 SIP. Now you can use a standard type or an enhanced. Now if you click enhanced, it gives you the extra feature of being able to relocate your main telephone number to an alternate number if your ISP goes down or if you lose power from our servers, your number will be re redirected to like a cell phone or answering service or just any other phone number that you want if you have that clicked on the enhanced feature. You know, in today's job market, it's always good to have a backup plan for making money or sometimes you might just be tired of working for someone else and you think it's time to be your own boss. Well, my friend John Cristani has been helping guys like you and me become wealthy for many years now and he has a free training course that shows you step by step how to earn a six-figure side income online. That's right, side income. You can do this and still keep your day job if you want to. Just click on the link in the description below to get your free training now. Now let's uh, continue setting up our SIP trunk. You're going to scroll down and you're going to need these three items here. The uh, SIP username, the password, and the registration host name. Now this registration ho host name, I I've noticed it's kind of temperamental. I've used this address sometimes, but most of the time it works on uh, the settings page and I'll go there in a minute and show you how to get if this for some reason address does not work I'll show you another alternative address to use for your server host but anyways setting up our SIP trunk we want to scroll down and 
use this phone number. This is going to be for your outbound caller ID. So I'm going to use our main Virginia telephone number as my outbound telephone number. And you're going to need to click on an E911 address. And uh, this SIP trunk will not work unless you have an E911 address and an outbound caller ID number set up. And you're going to click Save. Okay, in review, sometimes this SIP registration host name works on these SPA 112s, but sometimes it doesn't. If this does not register your SPA 112, what you want to do is go back to Settings tab, and you're going to go back to Service and scroll all the way down. to registration server and this is A1 East SIP registration. If you're using it for a fax number, a T38 fax, you're going to want to use this fax02.cordial.com address. So there's three addresses that you can use. If you're using it for a fax machine, the ATA, you're going to want to use this and you're just going to copy uh, the fax.02.cordal.com. That's all you need. You don't need this fax02 um, hyphen. Just that right there. Now, now that we've said that, what we want to do is log in. Well, I'm going to go back to my SIP trunk because we're going to need those usernames and passwords. We're going to have to copy those. So. Okay, now that we have this, what we're going to want to do is copy this address right here. And now we want to log in to our Cisco SPA 112. Now, when I did that command prompt, star, 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 then 110 pound, it gave me this IP address. So that's what I'm logging into. And you'll see this web interface here. And the user's going to be admin, and the password's going to be admin. Now we're under the Quick Setup tab, and right here where it says Proxy, that's where you're going to want to paste this address, your SIP registration host name. So let's go ahead and do that. And over here for User ID, User ID is going to be your username, so let's go ahead and copy that, SIP username, copy this whole thing. We're going to paste that here. And now we need the password right here. And we're going to go back and copy this password right here. Right here. And display name, you can just name it what you want. Uh, let's say we're using it for a uh, fax machine. We're just going to say fax. And after you've put those credentials you want to click submit now you have to wait about 40 seconds and then log back in okay so I've logged back in now and now I want to go to status to see if it registered and it says linked connected now you want to go see if your SIP trunk is registered we're back at our SIP trunk and you can see it's green and it says registered so now you have a registered Cisco SPA 112 to a Cordial hosted SIP trunk. Hey, you know, a lot of people ask me, how do you record your computer screen like that? I tell them it's so easy with Camtasia from TechSmith. In my opinion, Camtasia is the most affordable and easiest recording software to learn. You don't need a big budget or fancy video editing skills. Simply record your screen, add a few effects, call-outs, musical backgrounds, and bam, you're done. Upload it directly to YouTube or your computer or whatever video hosting site you choose. It's that easy. And right now, Camtasia is letting my friends try it out for free for one month. You can't lose with that deal. Just click on the link in the description below and start your free trial today.